right It's my belief that my big ball should be held every night oh, We've got big God. balls We've got Do you ever have trouble holding your balls? Your beer pong balls? We did, now we came up with a solution So our group started off with a few ideas So we came up with the Zelda chest The Zelda chest, you put your eggs in it and it'll make noise when you open it up Too expensive, so we decided to walk away from that one. Then we came up with the bedside organizer. It was a little impractical, and it also didn't hold up your phone sometimes, so we decided we weren't going to go with that. So we came up with hold your balls. We started off with an egg container, which we cut it in half, turned it into with some color, and then finally came out with our overall product. I'll show you that in just a second. So the overall problems that we decided we were going to solve was misplacing your beer pong balls. When you're at home, trying to transport them and get ready to go out on your Friday night to go play some beer pong, you can't find them, that's one of the overall issues. So then it was wasting your money. If you had to lose them, you had to go buy new ones, and it cost you every weekend that you'd want out. Then it was transportation. It's much easier to carry them, and knowing that they won't break is saving you money when they are in the little carrying case, the little case that holds your balls. So our sales. We were aiming at families and friends. We didn't open it up to the public. We wanted to keep it close, so we didn't push it towards overall everyone, because we were thinking about doing that later after this project would make some money. So then we went to our sales. So it only cost us $1 to make each unit. Then it, we would turn around and sell them for $5. So from that, we were making a $4 profit. Our ROI was 400%. So we sold 14 units, made $70, and had a profit of $56. So next time, if you go out and play some beer pong, make sure you bring your hold your ball. But we've got the best!